the NFL introduces male cheerleaders to their rosters. Hey, thanks for tuning into The Fumble for more sports news and commentary. Make sure you click subscribe and join the notification squad for updates on all the latest. I'm your host, Britt Johnson. Make sure you follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. I am so excited because today I get to talk about cheerleading, cheerleading. Okay, for those of you guys who don't know, I basically cheered my whole entire life and I also coached cheer for several years after I retired my pom-poms. And yes, cheerleading is a sport. I understand, just like anything else, there are levels to cheerleading, but competition cheer, which I did, is no joke. Some like to argue that it's a girl's activity and athleticism is not really needed, but the truth is cheerleading actually began as an all-male sport. As early as 1877, Princeton University had a Princeton cheer team, and it wasn't until 1923 that women were even allowed to participate. Since then, cheer has, yes, become female dominated. The professional cheerleaders for teams have actually been only females, except the Green Bay Packers, who actually have a cheer team that does stunts and stuff with males. NBA teams have also had what they call a spirit squad in addition to the cheer slash dance team, which consists of males who do partner stunts and tumble with the female cheerleaders. The males in both of these scenarios have been considered to be stuntmen and don't actually follow the routines that the cheerleaders do. This season, the Los Angeles Rams and New Orleans Saints have decided to add some male dancers to their cheer teams that will be dancing alongside the cheerleaders on the sidelines. During March, NFL teams held their cheer tryouts and Rams selected two guys for their team. Napoleon tweeted this out on social media. Still can't believe I'm one of the first males in history to be a pro NFL cheerleader. Everyone's support and love has been insane. Thank you and go Rams. And the other member of the team that was selected, Quinton, posted this. This week has been a whirlwind, but it's still so surreal to me that I am one of the first male cheerleaders to dance for a pro team. And Jesse Hernandez was the male cheerleader that was selected from the New Orleans Saints. So. I would like to say cheers to all of you athletes and cheers to the franchises that have added a little equality to their rosters by selecting male cheerleaders. My next challenge for the NFL teams would be to actually pay these cheerleaders more than minimum wage. It's only been a few years since the cheerleaders were actually granted minimum wage after the Raiderettes sued the Oakland Raiders for low wages. At the time, most teams were paying the cheerleaders 50 to 100 bucks per game, and they were not paying them for appearances or practices. Closed mouths don't get fed though, and personally knowing a bunch of cheerleaders myself, I know that they don't really fight for higher wages. They just are happy to be a part of the team, even though they're being taken advantage of. But you know what, whatever, that's none of my business. How much do you guys think cheerleaders should get paid in the NFL? Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below. In other NFL news, Des Bryant has still not been signed with the team and preseason is already begun. Justina Anderson tweeted this about his status with the Browns. Browns source tells me the Corey Coleman trade was not specifically done to clear space for free agent wide receiver Des Bryant. Additionally, sources say there's an impression they have that Bryant is not seriously interested in coming to Cleveland. I mean, who is? seriously interested in coming to Cleveland to play. I mean, I guess it would be someone who might just really want to play football and no longer has a contract with the team. Do you guys think uh, we will see Des Bryant on a team before the regular season kicks off? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? Don't forget to like this video and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson, for the Fumble. I'll see you real soon.